One, two, three, let's go! What's up, everybody? Welcome back. We are on episode six of WandaVision. Hey, what up? And then episode seven of the show. Welcome back, you beautiful people. <laughs> Welcome your ears. They are beautiful. Shouts out to all of you people. I don't know how, how we're rocking, <laughs> but we got a good amount of viewers on, yeah. on one of them. Yeah. Did we, we hit over a hundred? I think we did over a hundred on the Let's last Let's go. Step. That is true. That was that was quite nice. Shout out to everybody who's watching, dude. Yeah. So, it's awesome. Thanks for tuning in. You know, I actually I hit up someone who listens. Uh -huh. And I, I was asking him just like some questions about like um just like hey, what he thinks of the show. Mm -hmm. And he specifically was like, dude, I'm happy that you guys are covering like the Disney shows. Well, let's go. Yeah. And so I was like, okay, dude, like People that, are this listening. is working. What? People are listening. Yeah, yeah. People like it. People are listening. And it, it, it's hype. And it's cool because we're all like experiencing this together, like week by week. It is pretty interesting. Sometimes I'm like, I do get like, oh, we have to do with a pod. But once we get going, it's always fun. You don't got the, the fucking like, let's fucking go. Sometimes no. Just because yeah. physical, <laughs> physical level. Uh, True. What do you call it? Energy levels <laughs> have been low a little lately. Yeah, and that that applies for this app. We we actually tried watching it last night. <laughs> Don't and someone someone exposed, uh, but <laughs> someone fell asleep. <laughs> I fell asleep fifteen minutes and hey, that's okay. It is what it is. It is what it is. Because then I knew we'd get a perfect opportunity to watch and record, like right now. We, and that's what exactly what we did. Fresh Bam. off the app. Yeah, we're fresh off the app. What do you think about it? Like first first impressions. We were kind of saying we well, were a little first, skeptical yesterday when we yes. were watching it. Low key, I was like, man. So yeah, it was all right. Yesterday we made it, I think like ten ish minutes in. It was like ten to fifteen because I think <clears throat> yeah. we had like twenty eight ish minutes or so. Mm -hmm. Yeah. Mm -hmm. But I mean, it was kind of cool. I liked yeah. what they did, but it was also kind of fucking weird and almost not in like a good way. It just felt mm -hmm. like. Like they tried to be the office, but also just didn't hit like the same office type comedy really yeah. well. Or they, or maybe they were trying to be low key trying to be something else that we just don't know. Yeah. Well, and you know, I was thinking I actually got the impression. Um, have you ever watched Modern Family? Yeah. Modern Family With does the, the like, like sitcom or not the sitcom, I guess the reality TV foe kind of foe, yeah. foe, what is it called? Um, mockumentary is what it's yeah. called like mockumentary style they do that and so even though it was like an office like one-to-one -one, i actually felt like it was maybe more so that's a, what i'm a thinking modern I, was family, like, yeah. I don't even know if office <clears throat> would be even like a good comparison because right. while they do the it's like a popular like i mean that that's in like everything with having like sit down interviews with people it yeah. just depends on how you sh how you film it right and that's like a good comparison of like a modern family yes because and and if it sticks with the theme of the show too because if you notice every show that they like um parody or copy or sort of get inspired off of um wanda in her like in her era shifting uh -huh. every <clears throat> every show is a family show yeah none of them have been like we and were that's joking not a like family show the office is not a family exactly show. It's we, an we were joking show. like that they might do Fresh <clears throat> Prince of Bel Air or something, and but that'd they be a didn't. little too early. Well, well, they didn't. They went with Malcolm in the Middle, which is a family show, and I guess for the other one, yes, uh, yeah. But like that's for instance, um, but they're the, keeping like, with all the family, the family shows. members are like main members. Yeah. It's not just like kind of centered around the boys either, and so is right. like this <clears throat> Modern Family type show too. So that like yeah. still follows suit, right? Because all of them are like important. But then I think getting into our gripes with it, when we were kind of saying we felt a little skeptical, this may be, and this might be the hot take, hot take out of the episode, this might be maybe the weakest. Well, I was app. about to say that too. It yeah. just felt like we've been rising and rising and rising in, <clears throat> in likeness in the whole show. Mm -hmm. And I felt like, I don't know if it could ever go higher, who's yeah. to say. Well, I think, I do think this show or this episode did do some things really well there were things we did like yeah you know, we'll get into those but my problem with this app is i think it fumbled the um the sitcom style i think they they did not produce it as well yeah. i don't think it, i don't think it really 
Well, that's was what convincing. I'm saying. It was like this one just felt like the <clears throat> weakest. Like, okay, we. I just don't really. I don't know. Maybe this just might be my like opinion on mm-hmm. this c- kind of TV and entertainment because I don't really watch a lot of modern shows. Yeah. too often. And so maybe I was just like, uh, it maybe it just didn't feel like super entertaining. Yeah, like what, the jokes what, didn't really hit super hard. It yeah. was just like kind of weird sometimes. Elaborate on that. I don't know. That's it's hard to say weird, but it was just like not as like congruent of an episode. Like I don't know, it just felt kind of a little all over the place sometimes. Yeah. Yeah. I can kind of see what you mean. Um, <clears throat> see, I think what did it in for me was just some of the effects, uh-huh. or I don't know, some of the some of the styles in which they tried to capture the essence of the office with their like mockumentary style. Mm-hmm. I just think they weren't done well. You know, like for instance, the zoom, <clears throat> the like zoom effect. That's kind of like the patented, uh, funny camera effect of that of that genre right uh-huh. is when like did that zoom. happen um well like throughout the whole episode of wandavision they were doing like the zoom effect on objects but the thing is they i don't think they were doing it right yeah like it was like you were kind of you seems like you didn't even notice it did you not really well that's the thing Shit. they're in there but they're like not strong enough i didn't even notice it or maybe <laughs> exactly. i'm just not remembering i don't remember a lot of things guys so right this is probably well, sure. one of them well, but I think what it that is like fair though because you would remember them if some of them were good. And do you remember any of them? Sure. Um. Well, just to name like more so what an example of what I mean, an infamous one, um, the Parks and Rec where they zoom in on Andy's face and he's like, <gasps> you know that one? That's <laughs> like an infamous like they zoom in okay. and it, and it's that like uh um <clears throat> that all gas no breaks like. Like he kept calling it a crash zoom in uh-huh. that documentary, right? Just like a quick zoom. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Um, and so, like for instance, in the Wandavision show, remember when like she opens up her fridge to get the milk, and it kind of like just like a little paint like inches in, it just like inches in on like the milk or whatever. To me, that was their like attempt at cap- recapturing that like effect yeah. of like the zoom effect, but it didn't, it wasn't it to be funny. like kind of YouTube. I, yeah, I guess so. Yeah, it's like a style that is like kind of popularized in YouTube it's as like, well. Why would you do it like in TV? It's just like kind of like an improper shot that's just like a little yeah. too real. It, yeah, it was just strange. I don't know. Like they, I just didn't but think then they, they didn't even it. have enough like length to make it like cool. Apparently, yes. Yeah, and I can maybe like pull up an example of what we mean sort of later. Yeah, dude, put this in post. <laughs> put this in post. Well, then, like for instance, how'd you feel about like the confessionals? So the, like the whole interview, like to the side stuff. See, How did you think? What did you think I, about that? I think those? it was like kind of done. I think like the confessionals were like kind of funny. Their acting were really mm-hmm. were really good. Well, so we but got we got for three. the content yeah. about what they were talking about. I felt like it was a little too light. I wanted it to be more dramatic, and they were just like, "Huh, so I'm dead." I'm like, yeah. I wanted you to find out and freak out. I see what you mean. Well, and and I guess that's not a confessional scene. That was when Vision and Darcy well, I know. were in the I'm truck. not saying that, but just like all of what they were talking about too. It was just like Yeah. They were talking about all this like really big lore stuff, but it was just like kind of like, like oh, in passing type yeah. voice. Well, and so the we got three of the confessionals or from three characters. We got it from Wanda. We got it from Vision, and then we got it from Agnes, or... Agatha. <laughs> Agatha. Agatha. Which is, was a big reveal She's of this Agathug. episode. What's that? She's an Agathug. <laughs> Agathug. <laughs> is our... Well, and you and you were, were kind of going all over the place, but you were saying, like, who the fuck is that? I don't know who which she is, I can, but that's kind of cool. I can give a little bit of, like, background. You know. I don't know a lot. But in the comics, of Agatha you know Harkness. I know a little bit. I do my research. <laughs> I do the <laughs> podcast, right? I, I got to know. You're new age comics for a reason, man. Oh, yeah. Well, in the comics, Agatha Harkness, she... And then this is where I get fuzzy. So that I don't have a lot of knowledge on the subject. Fuzzy. But she... I'm, pr- I'm pretty sure raised Pietro and Wanda um, in the comics because they were like Magneto's children, right? I and she, he wasn't like, like a parent to them really agatha raised them 
Yes, Agatha Harkness, her character. Fuck that bitch. Chill, chill, chill. <laughs> she a villain. <laughs> well, oh, she is. And I guess she also ends up raising, I think, Wanda's kids in the comics as well. So basically, Fuck she's... Fuck that too. <laughs> essentially, what I'm getting at is she is like a, um, I guess, a Scarlet Witch-like mythos-type character. Oh, okay. Um, so Makes sense. Yeah, so kind of a big con- inclusion. Other than that, though, I know nothing I about her. I fuck that bitch. <laughs> well, it, I know in the comics, though, she's like an old lady. Like, very, very old. Uh, like a grandma. The, and and this, this she's much younger. This reminds me of Game of Thrones. This does? Yeah, with the like red witch chick who has the amulet, Ooh. who's actually like a thousand years old. True, I guess Maybe I wasn't some saying shit that. Like, that's about to happen. <laughs> it could. Um, which... Yeah, I didn't know she would be like magic, magic y. Like, bitch, you stepped in my realm. <laughs> like, what do you mean? Did you, did you like how she like was purple witch as opposed to kind red of, witch? Yeah. I thought it was cool. It was kind of, it was, it was pretty dope. It was cool. I liked but she the just confrontation like, at the end. Everybody. She yeah. got everybody. She Nobody did. was safe. Well, yeah, and we are skipping all up around I'm the episode. Sorry. No, I mean, hey, it, it is what it is. Um, but I, I was, we were talking about the confessionals. Come back to that. Um, um, I think they were okay. I think I actually liked Visions, I think, the most. Because his yeah. were actually a little thoughtful and a little deep. I mean, he he had the most, like, profound. Yeah. Where it's like, oh, he's he's literally finding out, like, none of this is real. Yes. Um, and then I, I, did, I guess I did like um, Catherine Hahn, I think is her name. She's the girl who plays Agatha. Um, hers were funny. She was good. No, she's yeah. she's a really good actress. She is, and you know we need to look. I'm gonna look up her actress because I swear to God, she has to have been in some sitcom. All of them. She's kind of <sighs> weird. But I I don't I also don't know what uh like I could I couldn't tell you. Bad moms. Oh, uh, Step Brothers. She was in Step Brothers. What? What What is she? I can't. I don't remember her from Step Brothers. She was in Parks and Rec. Oh, okay. Huh. Okay, that's interesting. So she was she was. Oh ready. yeah, I think she did work in the office for a little bit, but she was kind of like a really big side character. Okay, Maybe. so that's kind of cool. We caught up to like her experience in sitcoms. This episode was that episode. Like, I I was on like the best sitcom ever. Yeah. So so frankly, no wonder that her uh, her confessional scenes were bangers because they really were funny. Like, you did this all the time. <laughs> you're dead ass like and you can just tell that she was just killing it with the whole like i bit a kid once <laughs> like that we but we laughed both times <laughs> watching that that shit it was funny it was funny um sometimes so, they tried to be funny yeah it just really wasn't like well, my head hurts like <laughs> i need my alone time quarantine staycation yeah, I'm like, and that, uh, I would, it's good to come back to that one too wanda's were kind of mid she was bad though. <laughs> you need a bonk. Bonk. Hey, you can't say that because you were oh gosh yucking it up with me the entire time. True, and I'm always horny on Twitter. <laughs> yeah, so, so I have no it's room to standard talk. Standard around here. <laughs> yes. Um, she looking fine. But she was looking low key fine <laughs> up in this these first few scenes, especially the whole time. Yeah, just the whole. Um, Mm. What are you doing out of here, Marvel? <laughs> anyway, we need to take our own It's, not my it's <laughs> um, but okay, just a broad strokes over this episode. So Scarlet Witch, she's like feeling depressed. Um which th- everything's fucking going wrong. Everything's going wrong. Oh, one thing I was gonna bring up. Mm. Um I did like the visual motif. Maybe that's like an art snobby way to refer to this, but I liked the motif of all the like glitching. Yeah, and the objects. Like, it's like, oh, you don't have as much control over here. Yes. Which is a cool story point that everything's like breaking apart. Yeah. That's like that just slowly really dope. losing grasp of the control over the universe and, and like what you can change. Yeah. And keep like concurrent. Well, and if you noticed a couple random like other points of conflict in the beginning, Billy, when they wake her up out of bed, mm-hmm. do you remember what he's talking about? He's like, "Mom, my, game. my he- well, no, he's like, my I, my head, it's so noisy." Well, he first is like, "Our game is doing this," yes. and then he talks about his head. He's like, well, "It's super noisy." Yeah, yeah, and sh- they just like brush that aside. That's definitely like some Wiccan sprinkles. He's like, salt, "I have salve. fucking schizophrenia." <laughs> 
<laughs> he, well, he might be feeling his powers manifest, which is like magic. I mean, he has powers. He does. And as as exemplified in the last episode when he heard Vision. Yeah, he's a little like, bug. Yeah. <laughs> Yeah. He's a zoomer. He's a zoomer. Literal He's a zoomer. Spe- <laughs> right. Um, so, yeah. Scarlet Witch, she's depressed. She's dealing with the kids. Um, this is where we get all her confessional scenes. The, I, this is, I think, the part of the episode that was weak. Yeah. It was this kind of beginning because it, it felt like they were just attempting this modern family style and it just wasn't hitting. It just wasn't hitting. Yeah, it was like you you did everything so well. Yeah. Because it was past shit that was already done really well. Yeah. This stuff is still current that people don't like it. Well, and I even think that style is great. Like, I, I'll admit The Office is a good show. Yes, but you if know. you do it well. Yeah, they just didn't do it well, I don't think. But that's just my take. It's, like, still so current that you can yeah. still do it bad. Yeah. And if you recreate, you can't really do bad, like, old stuff because there's so much to go off of. Right. Well, and like, for instance during one of the confessionals i did like the whole line of the interviewer says like but what if you like deserved I, yeah. it yeah it's like I you're did, not supposed to talk i i liked how he i liked that question that he asked her because it is kind of like okay fuck there's some deep writing some like fourth wall breaking yes and however then... i didn't like that scene in general in a weird way i thought it was dumb to do to already do the like the camera guy like gets acknowledged and she was just like what the fuck yeah, I don't know. It was just I strange. kind of liked it. I yeah, I didn't hate it, but I I guess and it was another it instance of like I don't feel like they nailed it. Once we get to it, yeah. Well, and there was a little bit of a a, a redux of that scene so at saying, the end. Yeah, with yeah. Agatha, oh. how she was sitting in the in the little chair. Yeah, that Agatha. Was cool. Agatha. Uh, yeah, how'd you feel about the song? It kind of hit. It kind of did hit, it but it was kind of weird. It was kind of fucking weird. It was weird to end the episode on it. She was just like hacking everything. Like, oh, you thought you had control, bitch? Uh uh-uh. uh. I am Agatha. <laughs> Agatha. It, it was. It was cool to like. I guess get like re redos of scenes from different angles. She just went retcon, 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 retcon. Yeah. Like it was cool when they zoomed out of the Pietro scene and she was sitting in the lawn. She was just like baking it in the <laughs> yeah, lawn. That was cool. Just like, oh, I didn't expect y'all here. Yeah. Um, but then I guess I was going to comment this on the visual it's motif. Not Mephisto. Yes. We'll get into that. Um, but I was going to mention this on the glitching stuff uh-huh. to come all the way back to that. About war. That was some Mr. Miracle esque shit. That looked like some Mitch Gerard's art. Yes. <laughs> so, which I noticed him some props. In each episode of this WandaVision podcast, we somehow relate something to a comic book or just Tom King's vision well, series that, a tad that is like another layered reference they so kind of are Tom interpolating King, <laughs> salt well mitch rods didn't do vision and i so, know but with yeah. his glitch well it's like a it's like a one of weird the tangential reference right like choose it's it's interesting i wonder if it was conscious probably not come on marvel <laughs> Um, but oh, to, about... to recap the comics we've mentioned, because it's always amazing when we end up mentioning one just through like random relation. I we, hope you all enjoy that. We, yes. That well, takes practice for me. Not like this guy can. <laughs> well, you did one of the best ones, which was getting out Savage Avengers, that zero issue. See, I was proud of that one. <laughs> that, that one was, was just a wild I was reference. like, that's exactly like this. And I'm <laughs> so proud because I almost didn't want to fucking read it because it was so long. <laughs> You're right. And the last one, and it was, oh. It was just such a deep cut. And I was like, Jesus, this is so 80s. It was. Um, and then I brought up that Strike Force issue. Because yeah, I forgot all the she characters, was in there. Well, all the characters on Strike Force are coming to the MCU now. Mm-hmm. And, that was, and that was crazy to think. Come on, what the hell? I think we did mention another. I don't remember. Maybe some listener might remember. Hopefully. I don't remember. Well, getting... If you do, well, pin your comment. Heck, I'll fo- fucking yeah. I'll force Chase to do it. <laughs> Yeah, I don't have any actual I'm going to resist otherwise. <laughs> <laughs> I don't have any actual power over this. <laughs> okay, back into the app. Carnival. Carnival with Vision and Darcy. How would you feel about these scenes? It was fucking weird. It was weird. It was <sighs> just it just felt like we're kind of rushed and like, oh, meet me, right? Meet me, man. Let's get this on. Yeah. Yeah, it was some interesting. Like, some like kind of miss comedy hits. Yeah, definitely. 
it was interesting how um when darcy came out of the mind control she didn't go like crazy yeah she was just like well i expected this but this was not fun well then but there is a reason for that i guess she was like taken into it sort of consciously like she saw it coming and then not only that she was only in in it for a little bit a little bit yeah yeah but so i don't know makes some sense but yeah it was a weird like tonal shift from all the times we've seen it just felt like undo oh, people so perfect yeah it's like meep, 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 meep. hacked right um we, we get another cursed ass commercial <laughs> yeah i didn't understand this so yeah it was depression medication which i think was interesting given that that's sort of the theme of the episode with wanda she's just like i just want to stay home and do nothing and everything's going wrong and i'm sad yeah um i couldn't make much of the name the name usually has some sort of reference but i couldn't really make much of it i don't fucking know some some people are theorizing that wanda is gonna that wandavision is gonna end and somehow set up dr strange and the multiverse of madness because which i guess because of like the magic connection between scarlet witch and dr strange okay so in some sense maybe nexus could be referencing that like that somehow wanda's gonna create like a nexus. nexus she'll create like a nexus of realities perhaps that's i guess this is pure speculation who knows? That's some spec shit. It is some spec shit. But there was some interesting language in this um in this commercial. Like at the the last line was like, the world isn't about you or doesn't revolve around you. It's like, yes, it does. Well, I but then it said, it. or does it? <laughs> but I was like, huh? <laughs> it's like, what is going on? It seems like every time though, no matter what, the commercial references something about Wanda, which is interesting. Well, I mean, she literally controls everything, even the commercials. She does. She does. It's it's very interesting. Um, but I guess getting into it, we get a lot with um, Monica. <laughs> oh yes, Trevor demands we take a woo aside. <laughs> Let's appreciate Jimmy Woo. Whoa, a little whoa, bit. whoa, 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 whoa! <laughs> Jimmy Woo. He was great in this episode. He only got a few lines, I guess. Yeah, it's kind of cocky. I I hope they don't like. Just, I hope Jimmy Woo doesn't fade into like MCU. Um, what's the what would graveyard? Be the word? Yeah, graveyard or like the fucking abyss of characters that don't really like get. Phil Coulson about. got merch. Yeah, well, hey, I got plenty of Coulson through Agents of Shield. Trust me. True. <laughs> Which I still haven't seen season seven. I'm a fake fan. I ought to. I ought to watch that now. Fake fan. <laughs> anyway, we get a lot of cool Monica shit in this episode. Yeah, and this is maybe she the last almost thing ever fucking about. dies, and then she, she does. hops out and went. <laughs> I'm gonna go in. They're like, no. <laughs> that was low key funny when Wu was like, no, Monica, no. And she's like, fuck y'all, I'm going in. <laughs> and then just hopped in like. Aah! So, yeah, she tries to ram a truck through, it just like doesn't work. It was kind of random, and then. Dude, she just she would she plunges. was like, "What the fuck is going on with yeah. this truck?" And they're like, "Hop out! What are right. you doing?" And then she's like, "Fuck it!" Like, <laughs> I'm just gonna. Be hey, <laughs> she literally just like looks at it and looks back. They're like, "No, yeah, she's like I'm gonna do it." <laughs> it's like when your dog looks at you before they like, like get jump up bitch, on the counter. <laughs> I'm Monica Rambeau. I can do whatever the fuck I want. <laughs> right. So I think the scene with want Monica walking. through through the the like wall she like traverses the wall was simultaneously good and bad <laughs> see <laughs> this is gonna sound dumb but yeah. us like kind of knowing how sh- stuff is edited yeah i could just tell how awkward that must have been when yeah. she was just like ah, ah, ah. yeah well some of the shots it was obvious she's just standing against a green screen yeah you know it's just like kind of bad lighting and bad a little effects bit. Just a like little weird, bit weird like <laughs> it was just, well yeah i don't know it was tried. a weird scene but it was also cool to like i guess know that it's like this like deep space I, of like well walking, yeah i like the, like many it. versions of her yeah yeah that was cool and how her like well and another thing we got a lot of like uh flashback dialogue in the scene for, yeah. for monica's backstory and there were like i guess probably most of those lines are from captain marvel oh i but never never seen that movie. yeah trevor hasn't seen it i didn't I'm i didn't sorry. remember monica being like super i guess like just relevant in that movie maybe i'm incorrect maybe she was more like took up more screen time than i remember 
alas, she breaks in to yeah. the um the world. <laughs> and then Vision is getting fucking blue pilled. No, yeah. red pilled by red-pilled Darcy. Darcy. Yeah. Yeah. It's like, so who am I? He's like, well, let me tell you. Yeah. Here's your Wikipedia page. Just I'd- read up. How'd you feel about the scene? <clears throat> I thought it was kind of cool. I liked yeah. it, but it did think... feel like almost a cop out just to, for him to be like, okay, okay. Yeah. And then nothing really happened. I guess his, his he was supposed to be shocked, I suppose. Well, he, was that's what idea. I'm saying. Like all this stuff that they were talking about was all done during like a sitcom. Yeah. And it was just like, this is a lot of like, big Dark. lore that yeah. you could have done like really well if you like people like yeah. freaked out or if you did like bigger scenes yeah and that's interesting too because in past episodes when vision like decided to like red pill people with like touching their that foreheads, was insane well and it would break the sitcom style yeah and, and they did but it so interestingly cool. that doesn't happen in this episode with darcy which is kind of inconsistent when he like f- when, when him and wanda like fought for the first time and he mm-hmm. like floated mm-hmm. it's like freak out like that i wanted yeah the, i wanted some like crazy shit like that yes but then I, I guess I will say this though, I, I agree with your uh, your point. However, I, this was probably my favorite scene of the app. No, it was good. Yeah, my, I still it was, think it was a decent app. I still think Paul decent. Bettany's acting here was really good. That's what I'm saying. Yeah, it saved it, but yeah, still was kind of like a yeah. You're you're right. Um, his reaction could have been played up for for sure. Not more. his acting, the writing. Yeah, yeah, for sure, from a writing side. Um. I do like how in this scene they brought Vision back to, it felt like some of his like more deep thinking like roots. Remember in Age of Ultron, there were a lot of scenes where Vision was like, kind of would like ponder. Like he's just like a fucking computer with like no soul. And he's kind of like going back to that like algorithmic. Yeah. Just like, I'm not like a. Right. Which was weird in the confessional scenes uh, or yeah, in his confessional scenes. Um, I, I noticed that they've like completely stripped that like computer side of him away mm-hmm. and well, see that was Wanda's doing and he yes, didn't know that. I think that is because he's been reanimated, which he's, he particularly brings up, like he asks, what am I? Which I really liked his, that delivery on yeah. that line. But when he asks, um, Darcy, I don't think she gives him an answer. Right. I don't remember that. I, he, well, he's like, so I was originally jarvis uh-huh. and then he said and then i was created from ultron he's like and what am i now and i think she's like i, I, don't, like, fucking I know. don't know <laughs> <laughs> it's like who the fuck knows ask your fucking wife yeah um she's going bad shit she's depressed bro well and so i wonder let's say let's theorize that this show ends with the like bubble the like kind of collapsing you know so wanda's reality like collapsing and more and she like comes back to the real world if you will Uh uh-huh will vision survive see that's gonna be some weird retcon stuff i hope Mm. so i I want vision back they've they've alluded to the fact in past episodes how what wanda creates is real like it's physical like it is real and we so we've theorized like the kids are here to stay see if they're gonna kind of stick to some house of m type lore Mm -hmm. i don't know how many retcons they did when she brought people back after she like destroyed everything um well maybe this could be one of those where it's just like one of the things that just got left off yeah she did bring back hawkeye Hawkeye, that's what i was thinking yeah um but funny enough she didn't bring back vision when vision died because she killed this is their way of going not that part of the story. Yeah, like this can be Vision's re-entry into the MCU. Yeah. That would be awesome. That I would hope, be awesome. Because I want more of this guy. Yes, Paul Bettany is amazing. He has like infinite stake in the MCU. Because we like we were saying, he's been in this shit since Iron Man 1. Ha 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 ha. Fucking like put respect on the Bent. The Bettany name. The Bettany name. I mean, you've seen this guy's acting. He's, he's, he's also good. great. He's great. As he's here to mean. stay. Anyway, anyway, let him act. We're gonna simp. We're gonna simp more. She yump. She yump. So yump. let's how about let's simp for Monica this time. <laughs> she got her powers. She got her powers. She like 
books it and just like does a fucking marathon she to just Wanda's breaks house. and enters into the, into the main main yeah. actress's home and she was like what the fuck <laughs> are you doing here well it, when she walked out of the the like wall she just started like running and then she just like we get another scene of her like running on foot <laughs> So she, just she got out there. of her whatever and just went booked it. I was like, "You're so far away. Why are you running this entire way?" That was so funny. Like you could have like driven. Oh my god. Drive. Well, either way, she seems to get her powers and is now going to become Spectrum or Photon or the whatever light it is. lady. The light lady, which I guess she really didn't use her powers much in this episode. She just had like she looked like she was just tripping the entire time. Yeah. That's yes. what she's seeing. Which, yeah, they gave her eyes like a green, like a light green it's like contact. She just like can sense light. I yes. don't know. That's what it looked like. Her sense like energy or something. Because like, if this you notice, is her, she... like I can flip yeah. on my like personalities. Oh, and if you notice, she looked at the telephone pole wires, and, and they were like, they were, like emulating energy. something. Yeah, like radiating off of parts of it. Like, yeah, blah, 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 yeah. Blah, blah, blah. So, so some she can sense some shit. Um, but she ends up having like a kind of like a squabble, if, if you will, with yeah. Monica in, in the street in front of her house. And we get some kind of funny lines. What did you think about this scene? Uh, it was cool. But yeah. Then, then the weird fucking Agatha part comes in. I was like, well, yeah. I'm going to swoop her in. And then she, when she walked away, I think she's, well, I can't remember exactly what she said, but it was kind of random. I um, felt Wanda. just like yeah, just she like, was random. like don't don't make me hurt you. <laughs> and then eh. like what? That was you turned around to say that it was like weirdly aggressive. Yeah, from a far <laughs> distance away. <laughs> if that that felt like a seed that would have been cool, like I don't know, in like Ozark, if we would have saw like yes, um, some what good was, actors, yeah, what was not good uh, actors, but just like yeah, some good writing. Well, what was the mom's name in Ozark? Wendy. Oh my I can God. I can picture Wendy's Wendy brother. doing a line like that, where where she's like like don't fucking make me like when you're like oh fuck or, you're like uh, scared of her. Uh, what's the 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 other girl's name? The like hick chick. Oh fuck. She she did. She's not even like that's not even her like accent. She yeah. had to do the whole accent. I can't I can't remember. But yeah, that her too. Like when oh. they they would get fucking she was, aggressive. When, she could pull off like a don't fucking come yeah. near me ever the fuck again. Yeah. But I don't know. Her her delivery was fine. Hey, I'm gonna hurt you. <laughs> it was it was it was whatever. Um, but yeah, then then we get Paul Bettany's um, come. What are they? What are they again? Confessionals. Confessionals. We get his confessionals. That like I said, they're probably the best. Um, and then she comes into hell. <laughs> yeah, Agnes uh, sweeps Wanda away. Takes her to her house, which is like a fucking like old witch mansion. Well, first off, where the fuck are the children? Because that's where she went down to find. It's like they're in the basement. Yes. Like, where'd you put Wanda's children? She's going to kill you. But I don't know if y'all have watched it. You know, she got blip blop hacked. <laughs> she got blip blop hacked. And now she's on the purple side. Yes. Um. So... It, and then, yeah, there's the full reveal of, like, I'm Agatha Harkness. Then, yeah, then the musical happens. Yes, musical they do her scene. song. Which was, it slapped. It kind of slapped. It slapped. Um, it was pretty cool. Oh, gosh. We haven't been DMCA'd so far. Oh, uh, oh, uh, yeah. This slapped. Um, but I will say... Um, it's kind of cursed. I can't put a finger on what, like, song it's parodying. You know, because for instance, know, some like Halloween shit. Yeah, like for instance, I, we did, we forgot to mention this, but the intro song for this show, which was a Office copy, uh-huh. like completely, it was the Office theme, probably with like a yeah. light melody. I mean, it wasn't literally the Office theme, but like, it was a light cliche. melody, like fun, like indie kind of vibe. But point is, that one was recognizable. This one, I don't know what it was. It's some old shit. Yeah. Me, 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 me. It really was. Um and that's pretty much the end of the episode. A pretty and good then cliffhanger. And you get post credits. And then you get the post credit scene. Um which also I say there's a lot of fucking credits. <laughs> yes, there's 10 minutes of credits. Um What the fuck? So 38 what, minutes but we get like 5 yeah, minutes of of playtime. 
So what did you think of the after credit? You're going to have to redo it. I mean, doesn't yeah. she come in and just get hacked too? <laughs> Wait, what did he say? He what? said some like fucking cuck shit. <laughs> Who, Pietro? Yeah. Yeah. So yeah, Monica, she's snooping around, I think, Agatha's house. Opens up a, um, what is it? The fucking like cellar. Like, cellar door. Cellar and Pietro oh, he's, says, Snoopers gonna snoop. <laughs> what the fuck was that? <laughs> Snoopers gonna snoop. Snoopers gonna snoop. And you're hacked too. You're like a zombie. So what'd you think of this scene? That's funny. It was I mean, it was like, oh, you're you're fucking gone too. Yeah. Low key, I think it was I got it overhyped for me. Yeah. I heard so much like, hey yo, I hope you didn't skip that fucking post credit scene like it's people like, got if i didn't i wouldn't have been mad i really don't miss anything <laughs> and unless they like pick up with this conflict unless they, if they don't fucking tell us in the next episode then you're a shit writer <laughs> if you if you make people have to stay for post credits yeah fuck you <laughs> well my my question coming out of this scene is we're paused on a frame here of monica's eyes glowing so she's seeing the light is she going to be looking at Petro? And I, wh- another thing I wanted to mention in this ep is they really doubled down on Pietro being an imposter. It's Agatha's. Well, well, Agatha made it. She's a witch. Yes. Um. But then that re- that raises a lot of questions with the with the recast, if you will. I, mean, I don't know, but I think that was just her being smart. Well, when when they're calling him an imposter, are they demanding that? he doesn't look like well it's like you look him. exactly like him but it's like but you also look different well and so i the way i see it if they acknowledge that he looks different then maybe it was like i didn't know how to create him perfectly so i made him a little differently maybe from yeah. agatha's point of view because that, that was like her doing <laughs> yes yeah, i suppose there are just like mainly questions we still have about who knows like silver's like resurrection um, still but- got a, how many apps two Two more, yeah. Two more, man. Isn't that nuts? Um, but no, frankly, I I thought we were kind of done with the like Pietro's and imposter shit. Who knows? Uh, yeah, I don't know. See, it did get to do. It did a good job of like I didn't know what the fuck is that it was going towards this. Yeah, you're right. Like every episode has twists that I can't really predict. Right, and and I guess the the um, assumption leading out of this episode is yeah, like you've been saying, it's somehow connected to Agatha. Um, yeah. So we will see. Um, but I guess any closing thoughts for this up? It was it was pretty good towards yeah. the end. I mean, yeah. if it didn't do this like big lore switch, no, I don't know. It could have been a little worse, but I liked it nonetheless. It could have. I do stand by this. Maybe the weakest up so yeah, far. I'd probably give it like a seven and a half. But maybe it was still dope. It I was a good app. If we would have seen Monica like use her powers fully. I would have been like, nah, fuck yeah, this is I the mean, best there's app. always going to be bad apps of really good shows. And, it, and it's definitely not a bad app. No, but obviously but, the there's always going to be technically the worst app. Yes, yeah, the weakest app. Doesn't mean Nothing it's a bad, bad app, just has to happen. For sure. No, yeah, that is definitely true. But um, hey, thank you all for listening. Yes. It is fucking dope that we're going to do this. We're we have two more done, episodes. Which is sad, but two it's also... More crazy yes dude yes um i do want to throw out a question like for the comments please if you would be interested in us doing a falcon and winter soldier coverage, let us know please comment and let us know because we've been playing around with the idea and i don't know if 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 people don't want it then i'd rather not do it <laughs> it'd be a lot of work that we don't have yes, to do but, but if- that also being said we definitely should and you guys should definitely comment if we should do the schneider cut coverage let us know <laughs> i want to talk about the schneider cut i want to watch it but that's Me not too. for another few weeks yeah but it's coming up so i i, I would appreciate if people let um, us know yeah if, if y'all below. let us know but I, i'm also not like salty don't take it that way either <laughs> i'm not like yo y'all don't come thanks for listening to me yes. being a dumb fuck yes we're, we get to be dumb fucks on the mic and it's fun so all thank right guys y'all. Yes, we will we will catch you in the next uh WandaVision app with app eight. Bye guys. Later. WandaVision. I heard that shit through my fucking my headphones and it sounded awesome.